big bald. We're driving from Georgia up to North Carolina. We're going to hike to the top of Big Bald. Me and my lovely wife, Kristen, here. And at Big Bald, it's just a big 360 degree panoramic view. The North Carolina, Tennessee border, and you can see in all directions. So we're gonna hike about six miles to the top, set up camp and camp out tonight and then hike back out in the morning. So we're gonna take you guys along with us. I see mountains. We made it to Sam's Gap and we're about to hit the trail. Say bye to the parking lot. It's our last taste of civilization for 24 hours. All right, so this is the Appalachian Trail, Sam's Gap parking lot. Uh, you park here and then it's a little gravel pathway up to the trail. This is our second time doing this uh, this uh, trip, this backpacking trip. So it's six miles all the way to Big Bald and we'll camp there. So we have camp on our backs and we're gonna backpack in and enjoy the, enjoy the day. All right, parking lot's down there. We just came up, we looped back onto the trail, so. Look who's tough. Making it. We brought entirely too much weight for a one night trip, but I wanted to pack heavy just to go ahead and train for an upcoming backpacking hunt that I'm going on in September, so. And that's the reason I brought 60 pounds worth of stuff on a on a one night 12 mile trip just to build the endurance and try and prepare for some upcoming things. So here we go. The trail's in pretty good shape. Um, gets pretty heavily traveled and there's another route from over at Wolf, Wolf Laurel. It's like a community, mountain community up here. It's a much shorter hike from that side. But, oh, gear. Lots of nature and wildlife. The good old Appalachian Mountains. Emerging from the woods. Going all the way 
up there. That's the bald that we're gonna camp on. Several more miles to go. You having fun? Now where's the ball? Up there. Up there. Which one? All the way at the top. I guess it's hard. And that's Wolf Laurel over there. The oh, that right there. Way up there. Holy crap. You have quite the hike. It's pretty steep, so if you do this, just be aware. Um, you could definitely do it in a day if you're not bringing stuff to camp. Um, you would just have to leave early and hang out during the middle of the day and then come back. And then if you want to camp, it's some great camping up there. Nice little rest stop right here. This is road 599, which we've actually seen last time we saw a car that was parked right there. So I'm assuming you can drive up to this part. We're probably like a mile or two into the trail. Um, yeah, not sure where 599 comes in from, but if you're motivated to cut off some mileage you might be able to look into that but we're out here for the exercise so we're on the Appalachian Trail Just a little taste of what we're about to see at the top. All right, so the trail's marked by these white trail markers. There's one back there on that tree. I don't know if you can see that, but um, yeah, stick to the, the white trail. There's a blue trail back towards the beginning that branches off, but don't want to go that way. So stick to the white trail blazers and you'll make it to the top. Snack break. And there's a nature trail that goes that way, but we don't recommend it. I'm just kidding. We've never actually gone that way, so. If you want to try out the nature trail, let us know in the comments below just how awesome it is. But we're going to keep going on the white trail to the Big Bald. This is a nice and shady spot. Um, only about a mile and a half from the top. So we've done about four and a half miles. Um, this hike is fairly strenuous, especially if you have a heavy backpack on. So just keep that in mind if you do plan to camp at the top. The lighter the better, unless you're just trying to hike heavy for a reason. We are on the home stretch. And it has kicked my butt thoroughly. What about you? Yeah.
All right. We are about to be out of the woods. I can see the bald. the bald last final push here and then we'll set up camp and show you guys the view get ready to have your mind blown You made it. Oh my gosh. It is beautiful. Worth the hike. Look at this. That's not worth it. No. I don't know what is. So here's our little tent pad. I think this is where we camped last time, but down there you've got little bald. We're about to set up camp. Here's camp. Made it to the top. menu we got beef pasta marinara and chicken alfredo pasta got the jet boil I'm gonna fire it up Okay, so things to note, um, you do have cell service up here. Um, when you're up here, the hike is treacherous. <laughs> it is it is very steep. Um, it's not for the faint of heart, but it's worth it if you want to see a sunset, a sunrise, stars at night, um, and beautiful views. Thank you. 
what she said. Getting steamy. What you got there? Some um, delectable chicken Alfredo in a bag. First impressions. Mm. That's good. Is it? Mm -hmm. Made it myself. 841 is supposed to be sunset, but the sun looks pretty high right now. You cold? Rose is stiff. <laughs> <laughs> we did not expect it to get chilly, but it's slightly chilly. It's brisk. I have on a a light fishing hoodie and a rain jacket. Those are the only layers I brought. So Kristen and did not bring anything, so she's in a sleeping bag. Uh, I brought a hoodie, but it's just not doing it for me. Hoodie's mm. not working. So, note to all of you, if you come up here, it is July 1st, and it might get a little chilly as the sun goes down, so mm. plan accordingly. I guess we didn't even think about it because it was 95 degrees in Georgia when we left. Still enjoying the views, though. What you think? Mm, so nice. <laughs> the moon out. Doesn't look like we'll be getting many stars tonight. Lots of cloud cover, but we'll see.
coffee. got done with our trip Ooh. up here at Big Bald. We're about to hike the six miles back. Just a quick overnighter. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button for more hiking, hunting, and outdoors content. Peace.